welcome. I am pleased to introduce you to BevCana. We are an emerging leader in infused beverage manufacturing. We are based in a Soyuz BC, which I'm not sure if anyone is a wine country fan, but it's a beautiful region for cultivation and a fantastic site for our bottling plant because we actually have an on-site spring water aquifer. So I'm going to show you a few of the behind the scenes shots as we get into our presentation here, but I'll start with the bird's eye view of our operation. So it's a 40,000 square foot manufacturing facility. We're obtaining GMP verification, which will position us for global export. It's a HACCP certified facility, um, which means that we're able to produce everything from natural health products and soon into cannabis infused beverages out of this bottling site. What I'm really pleased with outside of our manufacturing capabilities is the team's expertise and acumen. So we're experienced beverage manufacturers and creators of iconic global brands. For myself, I've worked on Vega, which was the leader in plant-based nutrition. Um, they were acquired by White Wave Foods four years ago for a $700 million exit. So it was a pleasure to be a part of that team and really help to grow the category and be disruptive within that space. Our branding and innovation officer, Don Chisholm, Sorry for a little bit of feedback there. Uh, he comes from a firm called Dossier, and he's created Mike's Hard Lemonade. So deep experience working in alcohol, which is also highly regulated. And the team at BevCana has also worked on functional beverages in the natural health product category, most notably a brand called Trace Beverage. So deep expertise in creating brands, bringing them to life, and setting up the distribution channels that help you to gain that consumer awareness and market adoption. So expertise combined with the facility, as I mentioned, it's a world-class facility um, that will soon be licensed for cannabis-produced beverages. Right now, we've obtained our research license as well as a hemp cultivation license. So I'll show you in a minute here too, we've got a fantastic site for not only uh, producing cannabis beverages, but for cultivating the biomass that will go into our beverages as well. Just a little summary on the team here. Um, I mentioned the background in CPG, consumer packaged goods, is one of the strengths of the team. Uh, we also notably have a number of different cannabis experts who have been working in the industry for the past several years in the retail side of the space, in helping to take companies public, um, and also working deeply in the supply chain that includes processing technology. So this is a little bit of an overview of the site itself. Um, it's based on 315 acres of agricultural land reserve. Um, of this 315 acres, 100 has been approved for outdoor hemp cultivation, and we've subsequently applied for cannabis cultivation. We just actually this week announced a definitive agreement with Clearwater Can Grow, who will oversee the production of sun-grown organic biomass from this site. Uh, we have a fantastic partnership with a group called Next Leaf Solutions who will be processing our biomass and converting it into water-soluble cannabinoids that will be used in the infusion of our beverages. So in particular for one of our brands that I'll show you in a minute, it's a really great story in terms of it all being done on site. The growing, the cultivation, the infusion, and then the creation of a brand that's really true and authentic to this region. So a little bit of a sneak peek, I'll show you in a moment what that brand is called and what it's all about. Uh, massive untapped capacity at this facility. So 72 million bottles annually, um, and that's with one shift without expansion. We're pre-approved for 170,000 square feet expansion potential uh, on this site. So it's got light industrial zoning uh, that's pre-approved by the Agricultural Land Reserve. So a fantastic site for not only the next few years of the infused beverage landscape, but certainly into future generations. Um, and our intention is to have the ability for global export again with GMP verification and as legalization expands uh, worldwide. So another little aerial view here. This is the, uh, the site where we're going to be cultivating. There's 100 wineries in this region beautiful terroir for cultivating agricultural crops. We'll have one growing season, which might seem limiting, but when you're growing sun-grown biomass and converting it into an extract for infusion into derivative products, one season is certainly all you need. We'll be capable of extracting uh, 10,000 kilograms of cannabis oil from this site, uh, which is produced from roughly 100,000 kilograms of biomass. And again, sun-grown organic. So as far as the consumer standpoint, checks all the boxes from a quality perspective and certainly something I'll be really proud to represent in our products. Uh, this is a little oversight into our capabilities and why I just want to feature this is actually to showcase multiple revenue streams that BevCana has. 
we not only are producing our own house brands, but we'll also be white labeling for other licensed producers in Canada. And this offers a full scope of beverage specific expertise that a licensed producer who's maybe been focused on cultivation, um, potentially even processing, but doesn't have the manufacturing expertise that BevCana would be able to offer them in terms of creation of beverage products or infused beverage products. There are a lot of intricacies along this path to product creation, which includes your prototypes for your packaging, getting your compliant labels correct, optimizing your throughput at the plant. Um, there's a lot of intricacies in creating cannabis-infused beverages, things that haven't existed in other categories like alcohol, such as childproof lids. So a lot of moving parts, literally, at the plant that we're working through to make sure that we're not only able to scale for BevCana's brands, but work with uh, licensed partners for white labeling solutions in Canada. So I've been talking a little bit about ready-to-drink beverages, making use of a manufacturing facility at the bottling plant. There's also the potential for powdered drink mixes. So BevCana's invested in a research and development project down in the US, in California, and we've just recently validated through this research agreement the stability of a water-soluble powder. So this expands the capabilities for BevCana in terms of the product portfolio that we'll be able to represent, again, both for our own house brands and white labeling partners. What informed the brand creation that BevCana worked on, we actually undertook a proprietary consumer research study last January. This was 2,000 online respondents from California, New York, and Canada, and their insights helped to inform our beverage portfolio which includes Anarchist Mountain. This was the brand that I was referencing at the beginning, iconic and authentic to the region where we're based. Anarchist Mountain is actually the site of the bottling plant. It will be infused with cannabis grown in that region, and the flavor profiles are representative of flavors you'd find in the Pacific Northwest, like wildflower peach, sumac cranberry, and orchard forest. We have another brand called Groove, which is an, a range of iced tea. This is a balanced CBD and THC profile. Easy drinking beverage, widely appealing to a broad segment of consumers. And finally, we have Lev, which is a CBD dominant drink. This is more of your health conscious, health and wellness focused uh, line of all of the three brands that we're presenting. These three brands were all informed by the consumer research. We tested 25 different product concepts. Four of the five top performing concepts all were based around a spring water medium. So all of our beverages make use of the premium spring water alkaline aquifer that's on site at our bottling plant. Um, very easy drinking products, so things like iced teas, fruit flavored waters, consumers are looking for simplicity and they're looking for approachable beverages that they can easily get into without a lot of explanation or changes in their consumption behavior. I just want to show you real quick too the difference, so this is our Canadian packaging highly compliant. Uh, we have a booth just two aisles over if you want to check out the package for yourself, touch and feel. Uh, these are the Canadian packages and this is our US version of the same packaging, so a much more advantageous marketing play down in the US, and we do have intentions to commercialize these products in both US and Canada. Uh, it'll be through contract manufacturing in the US to begin with, and in Canada through our own manufacturing facility. A quick little synopsis here on the timeline of what we've been up to over the past year and a half since our inception and where we're headed in the future. Uh, big our strategy to date has been creating strategic partnerships to allow us to commercialize our beverage portfolio. Um, I mentioned our partnership with Nextleaf, who you'll hear from next, and they are our partners for water-soluble technology. This is a key component to being able to produce your beverages. Sorry, crazy feedback on this mic here. Um, we've also been working hard to secure strategic partnerships with branding and innovation agencies. So I mentioned Dossier a little bit ago. Uh, the founder of Dossier, Don Chisholm, is our chief brand and innovation officer, um, the creator of Mike's Hard Lemonade. So we have an exclusive agreement with Dossier, so we are the only infused beverage manufacturer that they will be working with. Uh, similarly, an exclusive agreement with Nextleaf. So proprietary technology and branding behind our products and brands. Um, on the horizon, some really key milestones. Obviously, the regulations for the infused product category take effect this October. Then product submissions are allowed through Health Canada. 
but your facility needs to be licensed as well. So we have our research license and we're in the final evidence submission stage for our processing license. And these milestones are critical to being able to take product to market. It's our intention within early stages of 2020, Q1 or Q2, pending Health Canada approval, uh, to be able to commercialize our product. And we feel very confident we'll have one of the first few products in market. So without further ado, I would love to invite you to learn more about what BevCana is up to. Again, I mentioned we have a booth just two over uh, where you can explore our portfolio, chat with our investor relations team, come ask any questions about product and brand. We would welcome it. Thank you.